Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another update on the Bitcoin price. Today we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and also compare it to the DXY, so to the US dollar index. And we are about to break out from a consolidation pattern. So make sure that you're ready to trade this. And before we start with the content, I want to give you an update on this special co-vesting feature that you can find over on Prime XPT. If you don't know Prime XPT, then make sure to sign up with the link that you find down below here in the video description. So with my referral link, open up an account here because you can trade here different cryptos and also the derivatives and next to your own trading here you can also follow other traders and a couple of weeks ago I told you that I was following this number one trader because he is ha or she is having very great performance so she's or he's doing very nice gains you can see here over 7000 percent gains and since I was following him or her you can see that currently I'm having almost 300% in profit without even need to trade at my own so I can do next to my own trading also this co-vesting thing here and if you're lucky to follow the right trader you can do very nice gains so so far following this number one trader was very profitable and also the second one slow but sure I think it is a very similar trader maybe even the same one I don't know but I think here you can still follow this trader and you should be also able to do some nice gains because they have a very similar strategy and here you can still follow this trader. Number one trader has already reached the maximum amount of Bitcoins that everyone can follow. So for this trader it's not anymore possible to follow. And uh, you can see that next to your own trading you can do here some very nice gains and once you're reaching like very nice performance you can also put the stop loss here. So even if the trader is getting again into negative you will be automatically going out with the profit that you're setting here. So definitely go and check it out my friends if you want to use this special co-vesting thing next to your own trading of course because the best thing is always if you can trade at your own and if you need help make sure that you are joining our free discord trading chat we have a great community over there and also there you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin. And now my friends, let's start with the content. We can start here in the four hour time frame because as you can see, we are in this consolidation wedge where we are expecting a breakout to the upside. At the moment, there aren't big reasons why Bitcoin should break out here to the downside. But of course, there is also the risk that we could come down here and potentially go towards 13K and even lower. In the worst case scenario, you know my target $11,500. This is where the 20 weekly moving average is lining up. But here for this breakout I'm still leaning more into the bullish side even though we had here this fake out uh, yesterday but I think that there is also a chance that maybe this is an ascending triangle and we're gonna see a breakout to the upside but let's wait here so if you want to trade this if you want to take this trade make sure that you're ready over on Bybit or Femex because there you can trade Bitcoin and other cryptos up to 100x leverage so if you want to take this trade and make even more gains then make sure to register to Bybit or Femex you find all my referrals down below here in the video description with my links you can get all some bonus if you sign up with my links and I would wait here for the breakout before entering a trade because in case that we're gonna break out here to the upside and also take out this high here at 15,850 I think it is good to go with a good long position here with a market order because in that case if you're able to take out this high over here we have a confirmed breakout maybe we come even down to retest the new support and then have a big bounce to the upside that is possible so so I'm waiting here to open up a long position that we are going to take out this high here at 15,850 and at the other hand if we're gonna lose here the main support of around $15,000 then I probably gonna enter a little short position because I think in that case we could go towards 14,000 and probably even lower again potentially even to test here the 200 moving average in the four hour before maybe having a bounce to the upside and this level is right now at around $13,000. 
dollar. You can also see that the RSI is right at the 50 level. So in theory now we should be bouncing here from this area also because we're trading right at the 20 moving average. So in theory we should see a breakout to the upside. And if we go over into the DXY, you can see that the DXY is also now trading above the 20 moving average, but it's right here below the main resistance of 90 to 80. So in theory here, I'm expecting the DXY to get rejected and that would lead into a big crash in the DXY and the opposite in the Bitcoin price, we would see a big pump. And if we go over now into the daily time frame here, you can see that the nine day moving average is perfectly lining up here with our main support. So if today we can close the candle above $15,000, we should be still trading here to the upside and continue our uptrend in case that we're going to start to close daily candles below the nine day moving average, then watch out for the 20 daily here at 14,000 and then potentially even go lower here towards the 15,200 moving average, which are at around 11,500 exactly all the where the 20 weekly moving average is lining up and why I think that maybe we could see a bigger sell-off is because we are still very overbought here in the daily we have the RSI still in overbought condition and also in my own indicator we got a sell signal you can also see that the money flow is coming down but I want to see this yellow area here coming way lower so if you're just staying in this area like we did here in the last couple of days then it is very likely that we will see continuation here to the upside and the sell signal was denied but so far as long as we are not having a big breakout here to the upside i think there is still the chance that we could see a possible pullback and maybe even a bigger correction and if we go over into the bollinger band in the daily you can see that we are still here in the upper area so we're still moving on the bullish side only if we would close daily candles below fifteen thousand dollar even worse below fourteen thousand then expect a correction at least towards this twelve thousand dollar area this is where i'm gonna open up probably again long positions and also buy even more bitcoin and uh, now we can go over into the DXY because here you can still see that we are trading below all the moving averages. So even if we would have a bounce here to the upside or even a breakout from this resistance, you can see that the 20 and 50 daily moving average are right here at 93.20. So I don't expect the DXY to go higher again. Only if we are able to close daily candles above these moving averages or maybe even better above the 100 daily moving average, which previously was resistance, then I'm expecting a big push to the upside towards the 200 daily moving average, which could lead into a big crash in the stock market and Bitcoin. But since the DXY is looking so weak and we have very bullish momentum, not only in the crypto space, but also in the stock market, like here, the S&P 500 mini futures, you can see they immediately recovered again. And here also I'm expecting big continuation to the upside, even though there is also here a chance that maybe we come down again before we gearing up here for the next big parabolic move and uh, we can also go over into the weekly time frame here in the bitcoin price because also here you can see that we are still a bit over exhausted here also in the rsi and also in my own indicators so of course this time frame is looking very bullish for the long term but there are some warning signs that we could see at any time a cool off here a correction possibly down at least towards this 12k to 11,500 dollar area before maybe we're gonna create something like this like we did here in the past where we bottomed out at the 20 weekly moving average and then geared up for another big move to the upside this is what i think could happen in the very close future but it doesn't have to happen we can also continue here to pump like crazy like bitcoin is always doing during bull runs but just that you know there is also the chance that we could see a major correction incoming and if we go over into the Bollinger Band here in the weekly, you can see that we're still overshooting it to the upside. So it's going to be very important to see how we're going to close this weekly candle. If we are able to close above $15,000 by the end of the week, I think we still have some room left to the upside, even though we are still here at the top of the Bollinger Band. But if this weekly we're going to close below 15000 and be prepared to see a correction at least towards 12500 potentially even towards $11,500, right at the middle of the Bollinger Band. We have also all the indicators shifted to the upside. So the weekly time frame is still looking very bullish for Bitcoin. So the bigger time frames are predicting a very nice bull run in the next coming months and weeks. But be aware that there will be always pullbacks and we are right now in a moment where there could be a bigger pullback incoming. So make sure that you're ready to trade this or maybe even buy even more Bitcoin if we're going to see a possible 
pullback or a bigger sell-off. Don't panic, sell my friends. Try to accumulate as much Bitcoins as possible. And if you're completely new in the crypto space and you are not very confident with trading with leverage Bitcoin and other assets, of course, you can just buy and hodl Bitcoin. I recommend you for that Swissborg and Coinbase. On those two exchanges, you can easily buy cryptos with your bank account. And if you use my links, you will get also some rewards and bonus money if you put a first deposit of at least 50 dollars or euro and if you want to dive even deeper in the crypto space then binance is the exchange for you because on binance you can buy any kind of crypto that you want so make sure that you use binance if you are buying into altcoins because coinbase and swissborg are good for the top coins like bitcoin ethereum litecoin and so on but if you're looking for those altcoins that you cannot find there on binance for sure you will find them so definitely go and register also to binance because here also you can easily buy any kind of cryptos that you want with your bank account or even with your credit card so with that said guys, we're going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to subscribe here to the channel and also give a like. I do daily TA videos and also you can join me in my other channels like on Discord or Twitch. So thank you very much for watching my friends and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.